All right, yo, mid cooking show. First off, if you haven't seen uh, Corey does cooking, kind of like episode one. Yeah, because <laughs> I really don't know how to cook, but I'm I'm really trying to share with you one of my more favorite new recipes. It, anyway, Danny had some questions that he thought it would be good to share with you guys based around anabolic fasting. So Danny, take it away. What's your question? Well, basically if you're new to the website or if you're unsure of where to start, just kind of generally who is this diet for or who's this lifestyle for? Or if you're like five years old and you don't know what to do with your legs, you can see what Danny's doing right now. He's <laughs> messing with it. Who's the diet for? I think, well, here's what's interesting. Um, when I was in the pursuit of finding something like this, I kept thinking to myself, this is what I do for a living. I've got great results on the five, six meals a day, but I feel like I'm gonna chew my fucking arm off. I'm mean to everybody, and it's extremely hard to maintain it. I had a lot of fall off after my shows and photo shoots. It was hard for me to stay within my weight class or powerlifting. And I just knew there had to be a better way. So I thought to myself, if I'm having these problems and I'm the professional, then what the hell is happening with the regular public that doesn't do this for a living? That I'm expecting them to be, you know, as disciplined as me, it's not reality. So it's really for anyone that is just looking for a more simplistic way to eat, shop, um, operate and enjoy themselves on the weekend. So that kind of ties into why, then yep. pretty much, because you came back from vacation. I remember, yeah, yeah, because you were just straight pissed. Yeah, I can tell the story real quick. Yeah. So I went to Virgin Gorda, um, and I was about two o five when I left, and I was um, I was starting to creep my weight back down after some powerlifting, and I remember I came home. I was like two eighteen or two sixteen. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, I need to find a better way. And that's where I was like, you know, especially if we have anabolic fasting vacation rules. And I just like, I need a way to be able to live and then be able to teach it so people can um, really operate out here and get real results. And that was, um, yeah, I came back from vacation. I was just so mad at myself, mad at the process and like, in pursuit and search for a better way. Yeah. So I know you mentioned a couple of your mentors that you, you know, learned from and worked with. Like, it all kind of started with them, I guess. You know, yeah. Really think about it. So like, where did it come from? Like, where you heard about intermittent fasting and stuff like online, but you mm -hmm. never really went full in on it. Sure. So why? Like, you just wanted you're fed up pretty much and wanted to. Yeah, at the same time, a lot of people were asking me about intermittent fasting online, and I really didn't have a good answer. And so this is kind of like my whole career and path of always like, okay, let me try these things so I can say yay or nay, um, but I really didn't have a good educated answer. I just thought it didn't work because I thought my way worked, right? And then, um, you know, I studied the anabolic diet from Dr. Mario Di Pasquale, who taught Dr. Eric Serrano, who was a local guy who but it's worldwide known for, for amino acids and high fat um, dieting and training and I had learned from those two guys to where Dr. Mario Di Pasquale is so smart when I would email him things I was doing protocols I was trying things he wanted me to try when he would email me back I would have to do research on the internet the dude was so smart just to be able to email him back or ask Doc Serrano what the hell he was talking about huh. And Dr. Serrano confirmed when this dude would teach, even with MDs, shit would be over their head. He was so smart. But what I loved about Dr. Mario Di Pasquale was he wanted to create drug-like responses in drug-free athletes, as did I. Dr. Serrano understood the application with amino acids and different supplementations and high-fat dieting alongside training too. So these two guys were super influential on me uh, finding this out. Now I had followed each of both of the things they kind of hung their hat on and found some holes in it, not being disrespectful, but it just didn't work for me. And as I started to kind of massage the things I liked from them and myself, and then try and intermittent fasting, and then come up with these Corey G twists, honestly, I, one day I looked up from 
217. I think when Danny kind of talked about coming on vacation, I was like 183. And I started talking to Rachel. I was like, it really ain't been that long. And somehow I look like I could do a show. Like, what the hell happened? And I realized that my, yeah, and I realized that my lifestyle uh, didn't seem like that dramatically changed. And I was eating like chips and some other stuff. So I was winding that together, but that's really kind of where the influence came from. Cool. And then last thing, like top three. What's the top three things you like the most about it? Oh, top three things. I would say one, no cravings. That, this is the problem. You're in these things all night long because you're so hungry. You feel like you're going to chew your damn arm off. You're going to lose. If you have cravings all the time, you might have some spark up from time to time, but that's usually because you didn't eat enough fat or didn't eat enough vegetables. And we answer the same questions all the time. So I know exactly why you feel the way you feel. So all you got to do is ask and we can point you in the right direction. No cravings is huge because that right there takes your focus in your brain somewhere else and it's really hard to be successful. I would say number two, anybody can make it to Friday. Anybody can make it to Saturday. Like understanding that I have to do X to get to X. So when I do get there, I can actually enjoy myself with a very little, um, uh, what's the day? Well, guilt free. Collateral damage, right? Yeah, guilt free, collateral. Like, so I can go eat wings, drink beer, do whatever, especially when my metabolic rate gets faster with not a lot of collateral damage. So then, and, and, and all by the way, if I'm real smart about it, I can lose weight along the way. So when I understood that, that becomes, that's not a diet, that's a lifestyle. Um, and number three, I think I'm just more productive because I'm not as fucking angry as I was. And I'm just in a better mood. And it's actually a lifestyle that since I understood it slash created it, I've never went off of it. Like I might have missed my fast here and there if I was traveling or whatever, but I've been on this now for over six years in teaching it. And it's been completely life-changing, <clears throat> way heavier and leaner, stronger, um, being able to walk around in a way better in shape, like, you know, three, four weeks, three, four weeks out of a show most of the time. It just, it really changed um, a lot for my lifestyle, for my business, for my clients, and it's, it's been, it's been amazing. Yeah. Cool. All right.